everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Mitchell Trubisky's Bears going up against Dalton's Bengals. Larry, we are in the place the folks here call the jungle, and that's Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Chicago Bears. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. This is fielded at the goal line. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he breaks through another tackle. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. play action here on first down and his first look is incomplete had an open man that time they end up putting a little too much heat on it don't you think partner absolutely just needed a touch more air under it instead he fired an absolute bullet so second and ten here so the d-line's going to spread out here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. They go with Howard again, and a big tackle there as the defender runs right through it. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell to punt in his fourth year from Miami. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. and 10. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there for Cincinnati. 45 yards. First and 10 for Dalton. That was hit, and Dalton lost the football. And fortunately for him, he's able to get it back, but it will be a loss on the play. Well, that was a big oops right there, but how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. And a short gain down to about the 33. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. A lot of attention paid this week in practice to red zone offense. The coach was optimistic about how it went. We'll see. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You and I have talked about it before, but what about the year this guy's had on the ground? You come in as a rookie and in the discussion as MVP. The people have always told me, running back, one of the easiest positions to break in, but not to this level. If you're talking MVP, that means he's had a sensational season. So third and medium here, third and five. They're going to run this with a tight end. He will push his way down to about the 14. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. And Bullock will put this one through, and the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that one. Their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan there on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second down, nine yards to go. Again, it's Howard. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Five yards there, and remember Howard last year, 5.2 yards per rush, so right around his average. The only Bears running back that's averaged that many yards per carry in a single season, Walter Payton. If Jordan Howard can keep up that type of pace, the city of Chicago will surely embrace him. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Here's Trubisky to throw. Steps away to his left. And this is going to be incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. Around the NFL, an update from a game going on down in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the 6-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. Yeah, I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Room here to run. He's got room to run past the 20. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 
A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. So a designed run last play. Now Dalton to pass. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tremont Williams. And he'll get this one out to the field. Field stripe. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Here's Trubisky. He's going to let this one go deep. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Play clock just about to expire. John Fox is going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Call it a pickup of seven. And that's going to lead to a third down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. shotgun is Trubisky eluding the pressure right he may try and run for this and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36 don't know if we saw too much of that on the college tape Trubisky using his legs to pick up the first Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. No, 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 check, Patriot, Patriot! Hurry up, here we go! Three, like, go on, go on, go on, go on! On there, lucky 56, lucky 56! Here we go now, three, 19, come on! They go 
counter with Howard. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. This is Howard on second down. And past the 30, down to about the 27. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Another nice run there by Jordan Howard. And, and when we talk about fresh legs, how about 2016? Jordan Howard, the number two rookie rusher. Heck, the number two rusher in the NFL <laughs> behind another rookie, Ezekiel Elliott. In the first three weeks of the season, he only had 12 carries. So once week four hit, really found his groove. Here's the first carry for Torrey Cohen. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. of two, now third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the best rivalries going. We'll have the Ravens and Steelers for you at 8.30 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night, another divisional matchup. This time it's the Pats heading down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Nice two for there. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he'll be dropped at the 30. The shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Takes the give to Bernard. Dalton. Going deep downfield for Ross. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead it just brings up fourth down. Now the left-footed punter in his ninth year. Kevin Huber on to kick. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Onto the field now come the Bears. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. 
Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First, they go right back to Howard. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that total. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it's the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Do you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up in run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. On third down, Trubisky. taken down here great coverage downfield Trey Hendrickson in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half we'll come back to Cincinnati after this Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Bengals getting set to go. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And Dalton to throw. Throw left side, complete to Ross. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now Dalton with a first and 10. Being chased out left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Tremont Williams. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. Around the NFL, second quarter down in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Trubisky draw play, gives to Howard, and they'll get him down here at the 23. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. First down now, but the clock continues to move. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Oh, now, look at 56. Grab him. Here we go. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. They run. 
on play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The Bears on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been terrific so far. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. And the back goes into motion. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. and 10. Here's Andy Dalton. Going deep downfield for Ross. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a low scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? A second quarter score from down in Houston. And the Texans, they have scored again and moved in front by a couple of touchdowns. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Again, it's Mixon. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. And that is incomplete. 
But pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Bears take over. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. set of downs we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving on first down they run with Howard and some room to maneuver and he'll be taken down right around the 41 yard line nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. The Bears on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try to run for it with Howard, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range. And they'll go for it on fourth down. Toss play, Howard. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. 13 yards on the pickup, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And here comes play number six on this drive. This is Howard, and they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Second down following the run, and they're definitely showing blitz here. They go play action with Trubisky. Flushed out right. That's a strong running. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. Third down, this is Howard. 
And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. No move to get the offense off the field here. They've converted once on this drive. On fourth, they'll go again and try it once more. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Fresh set of downs here. And the tight end goes in motion left. Now they'll run it with Cohen. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Leopard. Leopard. What's in that one? Green 19. They run with Howard. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. All right, here we go. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Trying to punch it in with Howard. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer at him again. touchdown on the year and the Bears are in for six and it is up and it's good that'll make our score 10 to 3 now Santos out now he'll kick it away this fielded a few yards into the end zone Looking around the league from Raymond James Stadium there in the third quarter in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. of a full three yards and now it's second down. Well you had the punt on your first drive and on the first play of the second drive. time he'll look to throw escaping the pressure right it got his man complete give him 30 yards there 
And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. To throw here, Dalton, flush to his right. And able to find Green. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He got 29 yards that time. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Dalton here from the gun. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Ross. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a third and one. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. To mix it on the check down. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Nixon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A great play there with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yard your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there. And about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. A 
to give to Howard running left. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. On third down, it's Howard. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's green. 12 yards that time and it's Cincinnati first down. Tie game late and the offense really has to be conscious of the clock here as it's becoming a factor late in this ball game. They'll run it now out of the gun. Just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. It's second down. Dalton looking. Eluding the pressure right. Going deep for up. He's got a man. Complete. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Big spot, Andy Dalton. This will be caught at about the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Dalton to Green for a Cincinnati first. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17-10. to 10. Bullock out now to kick this one away. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? 
They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Flushed out right. And incomplete on the deep ball. He was looking for Zach Miller as tight in there. And that'll make it third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. He's back to throw. Now he'll escape to his left. That's complete to Meredith. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Detroit! Detroit! So the D-line's going to spread out. Let's go! Three, let's go! Detroit! Detroit! Back to throw. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Elsewhere, a fourth quarter score now from Tampa. And the Lions have scored again, widening their lead even further. If they indeed win, it would be win number nine on the season. to throw now a desperation throw deep downfield and that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now coverage was very good that time a nice job to smother him as the ball arrived and that ensured an incomplete pass and it keeps six points off the board he'll look to throw he hits white complete a good pick up there, a 22. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard.